While it remains true that the coronavirus global pandemic has hindered some, if not most, small and big businesses alike worldwide, after the pandemic is over, there may be a silver lining to all this, at least as far as virtual reality is concerned. May is a key word here, but if we take lessons from past historical events, for example from the most fatal pandemic in human recorded history, which was the Black Death that ravaged the Old World, peaking in Europe from 1347 to 1351, almost right after came the Renaissance. A golden age of discovery, art, philosophy, humanism, and yes, even technology, marking the transition from the Middle Ages to modernity. Today, it may seem a bit of a stretch to suggest great times await virtual reality, while the world is quote, shut down and businesses are going under left and right, but think of all the producers, developers, software engineers, game designers, who have had the opportunity to take a break and reflect about the future. It's reasonable to assume creativity will skyrocket. Of course, many of these people work remotely and perhaps have had to work even harder during these foul times. Nonetheless, it's sensible to expect an improvement of virtual reality, not despite the pandemic, but because of it. Steam conducts a monthly survey to collect data about what kinds of computer hardware and software people are using. An analysis showed Half-Life Alex had nearly 1 million additional monthly connected VR headsets. It is expected that in a self-isolated world, people will be using more and more of online services, but for virtual reality, a million VR headsets over the course of a month is a huge number, especially because these users came from a single source. Granted Half-Life Alex is one of the killer apps the virtual reality industry has been waiting for, these statistics are a good sign of the oncoming growth of VR. The global market value of virtual reality in gaming is expected to reach $48.2 billion by 2026. The market is driven by continuous development of current gaming technologies like 3D effects, motion detection, interactive graphics and the increase of disposable income of people worldwide. Virtual reality headsets are quite expensive, but with an ever-growing industry, the cost is expected to go down and VR will eventually become mainstream. Besides gaming, virtual reality will grow in other areas of entertainment as well, like the film industry. Right now, it's hard to predict when a fully immersive 3D interactive virtual reality movie will be released, but if we dare to speculate, a good pick would be one of the Avatar sequels. After all, James Cameron is known for technological innovation in cinema production. He also works with VR technology almost every day. So if it turns out that one of his upcoming Avatar movies will be released as a virtual experience, I, for once, cannot wait to see what it feels like to ride a banshee. Thanks for watching. Did you like this video? Then show your support by subscribing, ringing the bell, and enabling notifications to never miss videos like this.